is this the last video I'll ever upload to YouTube? Well, that's dramatic, isn't it? I'll tell you why. I bought this. It's a one terabyte solid state drive. And uh, I'm going to use this to replace the hybrid drive, which is part SSD, part standard spinny disk in my Mac. If I completely mess this up, this may be my last ever YouTube video because I will have lost my video editing machine. Thought maybe the box opening of this would be rather dramatic. It's very light. In fact, when it came from Amazon, it felt like there wasn't anything in the box compared to normal hard drives I've bought before. So let's break the seal, the beautiful seal. And see where it goes. This is where I stop making the media video immediately and go and phone Amazon and say you have sold me a box of air. Okay, well it's a box of instructions, but there we go. Look at that. Okay, there really is nothing to it. Let's zoom in on that. So there is that beautiful thing. What else do I need? Well, an external drive caddy, a screwdriver. And I probably need to read the instructions, but why? And I need my Mac. So let's take my Mac apart and see what's happened. I have shut down my Mac. The first thing I'm going to do is replace the internal drive in the Mac with this one. Put the internal drive in the caddy and then clone the drive first. Then if it's all worked, I won't have to touch this drive again. So that's the way that I do this. So something to note on this model, these three are the long screws. Now these are torque screws, so I need a different screwdriver for this. And because the Macs come with that little tab on, I'm going to take the tab off here and uh, put it onto the new drive as well. Just so that when I'm fitting the new one, it will be a little bit easier for me. If I ever replace this when the cost of drives come down again. This is metal. Um, but it's very light and there's not a lot of metal. It's a brief change of screwdriver. It's better. Okay, they're quite stiff to go in there actually, but anyway, it's all okay now. Okay, this is very um, low profile compared to the uh, previous one and an awful lot lighter. So hopefully I won't have to do this again. Let's collect him all up. Put the long screws in first. Put these long ones in first so none of them are in the wrong place. Thank you. 
Okay, so now when I open this, when I turn it on, which probably you won't be able to see, let's try that. Um, when I turn this on now, it's not going to be able to find the disc. Well, that's cool because it can't find the disc because disc's there. Right, so let's turn off the Mac. I was expecting that I can't find the disc, but I didn't. Probably because it can find the disc, but it doesn't know what's on it. So let me take my USB drive out. Now this USB um, drive is really nice because it doesn't take any um, connectors or anything. You just take the drive, make sure it's the right way around. In the drive goes, clicks in, there's the SATA connectors clicking in. That goes over the top and there, whoops, if I'd have done it correctly. That goes over the top and there you go. Your drive is ready to use as an external drive like so so let's pop him in and what i'm hoping now is that the mac should boot as normal to um, that drive maybe after a, after a short time but while i'm doing this i wanted this set up on the desk because i really don't want to have to move this at all so uh i don't want at any point to interrupt this copy operation. So it's booting from the external drive. That's what I wanted. So it took about five minutes to reboot. It's come back to the desktop, just logging in. But of course, this will be slower because this USB, even though it's a quick USB, it, um, it won't be as fast as the SATA internal connection. But anyway, um, so there's no point in me timing the boot. It took about five minutes. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I have put something, uh, a piece of software on here that I've used uh, a lot of times previously called Super Duper, um, which is a cloning program. Uh, I'm going to turn off my internet just so um, there's relatively nothing playing about with the drive while I'm trying to copy it. I'm doing a screen recording on this as well, and I will stop that just before I start to um, um, run this. But anyway, SuperDuper opens up, and hopefully I have here the source image. So my my uh, existing drive was just called one terabyte, one TB. Um, there it is. So let's um, click on that. So I want to copy that, and I want to copy it to the uh, other drive. Okay, so, um, well, at the moment, it's not showing the other drive. Okay, so I need to sort out why I can't find the other drive. So let's go to Disk Utility. Okay, and I'll have to click on this at some point. Uh, I've done the options, done the schedule, and let's do, I'll click on Copy Now. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to stop the screen share and then we'll see what happens. And then I'll probably obviously have to pause this video and wait uh, maybe a couple of hours for it to finish copying. Oh, and uh, I started this video off without the power in because I was just demonstrating it. But uh, just to say while this was going on, um, it was definitely worthwhile putting the power cable in, which I did. So I'm going to hit copy now. And I'll leave that doing going. So it's about 17.24 and we'll see um, when I have to come back. So we're at half past nine. And if you see there, it evaluates the amount of files first and then it, it copies them. So after it's finished copying, it's going to do this, make sure it's bootable and then shut down right so took about four hours ten minutes to copy and it's just all shut down now this is why i fit the new disc in first because once it's all copied 
all you have to do to test it is that. So there's the old boot drive and we were running off that, you remember. And hopefully if I press go now, um, if I press this, my Mac will start up with its new drive and I'll try and time this as well. That sounds good. Hey, that's a bit quicker. So it took a while to get to the Mac screen, but uh, at least it's managed to um, find a disc and show me the logo. So this looks promising. That's one minute so far. And there's the login screen. So that was one minute, 30 seconds, I think. One minute, 40 seconds. So I'll log in and there it is. My Mac upgraded with a one terabyte SSD drive.